The IDS G37 study is, is, a, is a massive study that, that we've been running uh, through the International Extranodal Lymphoma Study Group. And it, that's been chaired by, by myself, uh, Emmanuel Zucker, and Maurizio Martelli from um, Italy. Uh, we've been running this study for a number of years now. And I think the key questions that uh, are uncertain to us in the management of primary mediastinal lymphoma is, is there a role for consolidative uh, radiotherapy, and particularly in those patients who, after immunochemotherapy, are PET negative. So this has a, a, a been a huge effort in a disease that is uh, affects young people, particularly young women, and really we want to minimise uh, the toxic um, effects of our interventions. So patients with primary mediastinal lymphoma receive immunochemotherapy. The choice of immunochemotherapy is permissive, so they can have RCHOP14, RCHOP21, uh, dose-adjusted EPOC, et cetera, uh, VACOP-B, MACOP-B, et cetera, with rituximab. And on the completion of induction immunochemotherapy, they have a PET scan. And the PET scans are reviewed rapidly in real time by a panel and a consensus read is, is reported. For those patients who are PET negative, and that we define as DAVL score one to three, they are randomized to go on to have observation or to have involved field radiotherapy, which is what we call the standard of care. For those patients who are PET positive at the end of induction immunochemotherapy, they come off the trial and they are treated uh, according to the investigator's uh, discretion. So we've got a randomization between patients who are um, PET negative between observation and radiotherapy. And we've completed recruition, re recruitment, I should say, uh, to that um, study. And we are waiting for the results of that to mature. And we hope in the coming years we'll be able to present that data. I think this is a really important question to ask us, and I'm sure we'll change the standard of care in this disease.